run it back, run it up, 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 and run it back. Oh, that's right. Shams ain't done yet. We've got more news. Coaching news. Finally, Rockets made a hire, Shams. Ime Udoka, the new head coach of the Houston Rockets. We know what happened with the Celtics. He was essentially terminated from his role due to an improper workplace relationship last last season. Um, so he he's done in Boston. He now goes to Houston. And the Rockets targeted Ime Udoka pretty early in this in this coaching search process. They talked to Frank Vogel, talked to James Brago, Sam Cassell, a few other assistants around the league as well. But they really targeted Ime Udoka as the guy that can come in, change their culture. And when you look at this team, they've got flexibility. They've, they're going to have 60, 70 million in cap space. They, they could have a chance at Victor Wembanyama with the number one overall pick. They're going to get a high lottery pick regardless, you know, battling it out with your Spurs, Michelle. But this is a team in Houston mm -hmm. that feels like with Ime Udoka, they're going to be able to attract free agents, go out there, and, and be a team uh, that people will, will want to play for. And Ime does have a great, uh, you know, I think, reputation among players around the league. What an awkward conversation that must be. All right, Ime, we're going to do this, but you know the deal. You, you know the deal, Chandler. Uh, expectations for this young Rockets team under Udoka. I mean, look, he's the best coach available. I think his track record on, you know, as far as coaching goes, speaks for itself. And he's a likable guy in the locker room. Players play hard for him. Uh, it just shows you if you can actually be a good coach and you could win games, you know, we'll look the other way on the other stuff and desperate times call, uh, call for desperate measures. So it's interesting. I mean, I guess he paid the piper and sat almost a year and, uh, now he's getting another opportunity, but you know, hopefully this works out for him and he's, and he's grown from his situation in Boston and he's got a lot of work to do here. They, they they're not very good. They, they don't really have that many pieces that I like moving forward, but they do have youth. They have some talent. They're going to have a high pick. Uh, so we'll see what he can do, can do with it. But this, this is going to be a process and this is a job he's taking. That's no, it's going to take some time. He's going to be there for a while. Uh, but hopefully it gets the Rockets uh, back on their feet because it is a good organization. It's a great city, and we'll see what they can do this summer. Yeah, for all the talk about Steven Silas not being able to connect with the players, Emi Odoka is a player, is a coach that is going to do exactly that. He's going to connect with Jalen Green, with, with Kevin Porter. He's, he's going to lock in with those guys and, and build camaraderie there, and that's exactly what they need as they look forward to what they're do, trying to do with this roster, and they're going to have a great pick. And there's always rumors about a former MVP uh, heading back home and, and playing back with them again. And, and <laughs> so they do have a bright future. And I think they have the right coach now to do that. Um, but this isn't what he had in Boston. This isn't a ready-made contender. This isn't a couple of all-stars on the wings. This isn't, this isn't perfect a situation. So he's going to have to show his coaching medal. And I, I think he will. I think Ime is on his redemption path. And uh, he's got a great opportunity to do that here now. I mean, it seems like a month ago, Shams, but we also learned over the weekend that Nick Nurse was out in uh, up in Toronto. What led to that? Well, it's something that we've talked about at different points this season. I think there's a lot of frustration within the roster, within management, and some of that critique and criticism went to Nick Nurse. And when you have a team with Pascal Siakam, OJ Anunoby, Fred Van Vliet, Chris Boucher, uh, Jakob Pertl, uh, Gary Trent Jr. coming off the bench. These are high-priced guys, and, and this team did not live up to expectations. They did not even make the playoffs. They lost in the play-in tournament game as a favored 9-10 seed. So um, I think for, for Toronto, uh, Nick Nurse had been there 10 years, five as a head coach. He won a championship there. I think he accomplished a lot. He's one of the highest-paid coaches in the league at $8 million per year. And so they ate that money for next season. And right now, he's going to be in the marketplace as a head coach, as one of the top guys on the market. We'll see if other jobs open up depending on how the playoffs go. But for Toronto, it was they what would basically Masai Jury spoke to the other day. They feel like they needed a new voice with this roster. Chandler, if you're Nick Nurse, what's a good destination? I mean, honestly, this is like Tom just said, this isn't necessarily Nick Nurse's fault, right? Like this mm -hmm. is just they just need to change it up. They need a, they need a fresh face. This is the second time they've done it. This guy was a coach of the year as well as Dwayne Casey. So I don't know what ex expectations they maybe fire the GM, maybe look other ones in the coach, because this, this is a very talented team and they did not exceed expectations at all. And you would, I would have thought this team would have made a little run in the playoffs, but 
Nick Nurse is a great dude. He's a great coach. I think he's now the best available coach that Udoka has gone. And so I look for him to get hired as early as this summer because he's that good of a coach. He's that good of a dude. And it's just, it didn't work out this year. And then in Toronto, and again, this isn't, I don't think this solely falls on him. I think when you have a season like this, someone's got to be the fall guy. And unfortunately it's usually the coach. Um, so, so we'll see where it ends up, but yeah, I, I think he's, he's an ideal coach in today's game. He can relate with players. He's got great offensive system. He's tough. Um, so I, I, I still think his future is bright in the league. And he's got a sweet Nick nurse logo, which I'm a big fan of. It looks cool.